Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83, and welcome back to Let's Play White Knight Chronicles. Alright, before we start heading south here, uh, we will... Oh, just one thing I forgot to do at the end of the last episode, and that is transfer my uh, mana potion, my heal potion 2, to Lyriel. Just because I just want Leonard uh, using it up just in case he runs out of MP and then he has, ends up using it on his own items, and yeah, he tends to reach for the, the most powerful one, so yeah. And I'm going to need that heal potion too, so... <laughs> Alright, uh, yep, all right, so that's about it, so let's... Uh, Start scouring these plains for all the treasure and all the harvest points and all that fun stuff. So let's go. All right, so yeah, just basics for combat, but as always, the best way to learn, just do it. All right. Now, as far as battle goes in this game, uh, on the plains here right now, you'll just fight three enemies. That is the Polkin, this little guy. Uh, kibbles, they can be rather annoying. They can put you to sleep. Hopefully, yeah, they won't put me to sleep because it kills me uh, the time. Uh, but and then the others are the giant vespids, and they're just basically giant wasps. So let's uh, take this guy out. Uh, the Polkins and the Kibbles are weak to fire, so let's shoot a fireball at him. Let's switch on the blade. And if you hit left three, you will be able to change that little icon there that you saw change to red. That just means the uh, red icon just means air. it's telling him to attack whoever I'm attacking. So anyways, here's a the first harvest point, which is a tree. Yay! So let's uh, harvest it. And uh, just to let you know, I will be posting all of the uh, the setups in the video description that if, if there's anything that changes, as well as uh, any you know, skill level ups or anything like that. And uh, obviously, I'll be posting the, uh, the list of treasure in there as well. I will not be posting the harvest points, just the treasures, so, as well as where you can find them on the map. So there we go. Got that one. There's a chest up here, so let's uh, take care of it. As far as fighting goes, as far as where, where you want to be when you reach Parma, uh, I, I want to be around level 4 or level 5 or so. Uh, level 4 sounds good to me, so yeah, just shoot for level 4. And since this place is so huge, the Chromium Pearl level 1, what does that do? Well, you just have to watch and find out. But yeah, this is how big the Blaster Plains are, and I'm going to be traversing all of it. In order, well, almost all of it. Uh, in order to get all the, the harvest points and the treasure chests that I can, so, uh, yeah, anyways, so there's another harvest point down here, so let's go get it. But yeah, Vespids are really the only ones that actively hey, attack up. you if you run too close to them. Sometimes the Kibbles do it as well, uh, but, yeah, I'm basically just going to be focusing on getting these harvest points here, is rock face and the uh, treasure, and any battles that the Vespids initiate, I will go into, so take care of this, and I'll be right back. Alright, there we go. And yes, uh, that first uh, tree I harvested, that's the only time I'm going to show you on screen me harvesting it all, because sometimes it can take a while to do it. So, yeah, don't have to worry about that with me. And there's our first Vespid. These guys are weak to ice, you might as well shoot an ice bolt at them. Next. These guys are the most boring. Kibbles, asleep. Hit circle if uh, the enemies are too far away. So. And then we'll just continue. More or less a straight shot to Parma. Yeah, but we're not going there just yet. Got more treasure and more harvest points to uh, gather up. The only thing you gotta worry about with the Polkins is that they've got a, uh, a Walmart bomb. Yeah. Alright, here's the next tree to harvest. So we'll Alright, that one is harvested. Let's continue on. Got another Vespid coming up. There are more? You can actually change targets in the middle of battle. Uh, just hit the left one button and it'll ask you to you know, change your target. You just use the directional pad to uh, select no the, the sweat, next closest huh? one, I guess you could say. Or the, or the next one in the uh, lineup, I guess you could say. But yeah, to reach level 2, you just need 500 experience, so you just need to basically kill uh, 10 of these guys in order to reach it. Should be pretty close to it, so. Pick up the pace. Right, let's head north here. Let's get this stuff up here. Sweet. 
me here. Use it a lot too, I find. So, alright, level two. Sweet. Alright, let's uh, take care of our, our level two levels here. Let's start with Leonard and going back to the axe. And we will be getting uh, our HP up. 20 more hit points. Awesome. And axe master two. And carry the next one over. Alright, for Lyriel, let's get her back on over here. Oh, no, I want her to go to staff. To be able to start boosting up her MP uh, reserves and her intelligence as well. So in this case, for now, MP is the most important because, well, intelligence boosts the damage of each spell, but MP allows you to cast more. So uh, an extra 20 MP that allows you to cast five more spells. So, uh, is that all? Yeah, that's all. Carry one over to the next level. Let's go. Hurry! We have to make it back for the show! There should be a tree around here somewhere, and I think it's like... I've had enough of you! Yes. Sweet. Alright, another harvest point. You'll learn the way in no time. Harvested. That's another thing I really like about this game is that while you're not battling and you're running around here, as you can see, my MP and my HP are actually slowly regenerating. That is awesome. It makes this game really easy to just, uh, you know, keep it moving kind of thing. Alright, there's a couple of things we can harvest over here, so it's like we're going to take out the... Take out the ooh, got three points. this close to one that you're about to harvest something, you might as well just take it out, because it'll probably end up attacking you. No sweat, huh? Yeah. Alright, uh, oh yeah, I'll Alright, to harvest flowers, you can see this little butterfly here. Yeah, this butterfly signifies another harvest point, so I'll be right back. Alright, there's one more harvest point down here. Make sure you Boy, keep up! Here. Too many Vespids going around. I do have a goal of where I want to reach in this place before the end of the video, so I think it's this save point. I might as well use it to heal up anyway. Yeah, when you see that blue glow circle on you, yeah, that just means you're not healed up. What's this? Shut tight. Well, we'll have to come back to that later. <laughs> Keep it in mind. There are more? Way too easy. All right. And the beauty is these things do respawn, but it usually takes a while. So when you go through and you kill a bunch of enemies, they probably will not be there when you, you know, come back through. So. Hachi will flame me alive. No, kill me, then flame me. <laughs> I 
And just in case you're wondering, you know, if you're a little crowded behind your character, yeah. to change the zoom, just hit, well, left one, left two brings you close in, R2 brings you far out, so. Let's head down here, this is a treasure chest and another uh, harvest point. This one I'm going to have to take the initiative because there's a lot of things around here and you can die pretty easy when you get swarmed by these guys. Especially the best one. That's it. Sleep. Guardian Pearl. Guardian Acorn? Actually, they're pretty much the same thing, they're just as useless. Alright. Alright, that one's done. That was actually a rather quick one, but I like it nice and quick. Cuts down on recording time. Should be close to level 3 as well. Sure, that Leonard has a big mouth. <laughs> oh, I love him. I love all the characters in this game. Oh yeah, already gonna level up. Whoa, don't get that close yet. Just forgot to do my level. All right. Uh, Lyriel, what do I want to have her? She wants to continue with this. Intelligence up to do more damage. There, Staff Master. And I'm good. That was a lot of skills. Next is... Yeah, basically with Leonard, you're just going back and forth between Axe, HP, and Strength. Yeah. There we go. I think I'll just start cutting out the uh, skills for each level up yeah, just to save time. Sorry, pal. Is he gonna attack us? Nope. Awesome. Only Gretel? Sort of way, thank you. All 
Alright. As you can see, there's another save point up there. But yeah, got a uh, broken crate here to harvest. Alright, and one more harvest point, and I guess we'll call it quits for the episode. More flowers. Okay. Alrighty. Well, that's all the, uh... Oh, hey, hello. I didn't realize this hey, crate was here as well. sure this is the way? Yeah, it was in my notes. It was just I was looking at the wrong spot. <laughs> Alright. So, yeah, that's all the time I have for this episode, so... Ah, let's take care of this. Yeah, I'll take care of this guy, and then I'll heal up and uh, repair all. I guess I don't have to repair my stuff yet. I think I will. Ah, sorry, how many pal. battles I've had to go through, so, yeah. Finish taking care of let's these guys, and I'll uh, save it, and uh, I'll see you next time. This is Intrepid 83 signing off. Thank you for watching, and... Uh, Thank you.